Hey, I'm Dr. Play, and I'll, I want to talk about anger mismanagement. Anger mismanagement. I mean, when people think about anger management, they usually think about, you know, triggers and those topics, people and situations that don't get to them and don't trigger them. But let me tell you about anger mismanagement. It's something that a lot of people do on a regular basis and don't realize they do it. First thing, of course, is they scorecard regularly. Scorecarding, the list of things that I've never forgiven you for. I point out your mistakes and the mistakes of all those around me and then I do them so well and so nicely that not only do they relive them, but I relive them, okay? Then, of course, I, I go out and get that big fat lunch that I like, which is French fries and ketchup and you know soda with sugar and I fill myself up with all this nasty food that, of course, you know, violates my system and gives me a sugar spike. And then, of course, when I go home, I gotta have a beer or a glass of wine. And while I'm having this beer or this glass of wine, I'm gonna talk about what's bugging me. I'm gonna let you know the shit you've done that I don't approve of, and I'm gonna let you know specifically all the crap that I've held against you for such a long time, and I'm gonna problem solve after I've had my second beer. Then I'm gonna to go to bed, put my head on the pillow, and while I'm there trying to go to sleep, I'm gonna start replaying all that crap that happened to the day so that tonight I don't sleep worth the crap. Now think about that anger mismanagement. As opposed to those things that we can do to minimize all that crap that happens to us. We don't bring up those triggers. We don't think about those people or those topics or those situations that have combined to put us at risk. And we keep those out of our mind. We don't generalize the negative crap that's happened to us. We sit in traffic and instead of getting mad at the people sitting in traffic around us, we turn the music up a little bit louder and we start to relax and just enjoy the ride home. When we get home, we look forward to taking a shower, getting cleaned up, and when our partner wants to talk to us, we listen. We listen to their day. We listen to what's happened. We don't interrupt. We don't criticize or make negative comments or bring up all of that crap from the past, which we call scorecarding, to remind them of all the things that they did wrong in the past and why it's happening all over again. We hold off on the alcohol. Alcohol is a wonderful thing because it allows us to relax, but sometimes it also brings about these thoughts that now I'm gonna talk about it. Be very honest. I'm gonna, yeah, I love that when people say, can I be honest? And my typical response is, yeah, you can be honest as long as it's about yourself. It's an evaluation or some grade of something you've done about you, but if it's to be honest about me, I'd appreciate you not doing it. And then of course, we get away from the fat food and the sugar and we stay away from the the, the malts and the sodas. You know a big gulp, you ever look at one of those things, Bill, big gulp? If a 20 ounce soda has 76 grams of sugar in it, 76 grams of sugar in it, and you have three of those a day, do the math, you're approaching 240 grams. Well, there's only 454 grams of sugar in a pound. You, you drink three of these sodas a day and you're approaching a half of a pound of sugar a day. And we wonder why people are diabetic or have high blood pressure. But then of course, just understand, we go home, we're eating pizza, and we're having french fries and ketchup, and we're drinking beer, and all the stuff that pollutes our body and takes away from us our ability to be restful. Okay. Those are all the things a person should do if they wanna mismanage their emotions and experience intense emotions. It increases the odds for you to become more reactive. It increases the odds for your triggers to be, your, your triggers to be, uh, well, your triggers to be triggered and for you, in fact, to do something that you regret. But understand, the idea of anger management is to be aware of yourself and be aware of those things that build up into those highly stressful events that make you more likely to blow up and explode, okay? That was all they wanted me to do. Um, we're gonna talk about, I wanna give you this whole topic about stress management, and I'm gonna fly.